welcome to today's video in today's video i'm going to um, teach you how to add this rich text editor um to your projects so highlight everything you can make it bold italics and underline it so it, as you can see this rich um, text editor is very beautiful and it's very helpful so i'm going to be teaching you how to add it to your um, project so if i come to this web page here before i added the rich text rich text editor this is how my page looks like it didn't look as cool as um, when i added it so when i added this this is how it looks like as you can see everything looks cool so now let's get right into it now the first thing that i want you to do when you get to your um, project folder is that in your terminal i want you to run the command pip install django dash ck editor now for me as you can see it says requirements already satisfied because i already have it installed now, after pip installing this um, um, CK editor, mind you, if you have um, an error installing CK editor, I want you to click the link in the description below. It's going to take you to um, one of my videos where I explain how to solve the issue. So, after you've installed CK editor, I want you to go to your settings.py and we need to let Django know that we have installed CK editor. So, after your last installed app, I will go to installed app. So after your last installed app, I want you to put a comma and type CK editor. Now this is letting Django know that we have already installed um, um, CK editor on our system. So right after doing that, we need to go to our models.py. And when we go to our models.py, we need to make some changes. So for this particular um, um place where i can input text this is a field and the field in my uh, models is the body field and this body field is now defined in the forms of pi so in the body field we first did models of text with bonus one we're going to change this but before we change it we need to go to the top and install and import this library here so write this line of code from ck editor of fields import rich text um field so this is going to import the rich text field for you inside your project, inside your modules of Pi. So when we've done that, I want you to just come here and where you have this body is equal to modules or text field, I want you to comment it out. And when you've commented it out, I want you to write this line of code. Body is equal to um, rich text field. Then in parentheses, I want you to enter blank equals true and null equals true. <clears throat> So after doing that, obviously we've made changes to our um, models. So we need to run the commands Python manage or py make migra migrations and then Python manage or py migrate. So I am just going to run those commands right now. I want you to run them too. Okay, so we've um, made migrations and we have migrated. Okay, so after you have made, um, after you've um, run your migrations and you have migrated, the next thing I should do is I want you to run your server. So after doing all this, we've made changes to the models, installed rich text editor in our installed apps. I want you to now go to the particular template where this form is rendered in. As you can see, I have form.asp here in postcreate.html. If I go back to my web page, this is hosted by the HTML um, post creator HTML form. So we now need to add one line of code. If you reload our page like this, it's still going to, if you reload our page, it's still going to look like this. So we need one final step. We need to go there and above this form as P, I want you to write this particular code there. I want you to open um, two curly brackets as usual, then do form.media. When you do form.media, if you go to your um, web page and you reload it, you're going to see it looks um, exactly like this. The rich, rich text editor would have been added and you can move and life becomes easier. Another perk of it is that if you go to your backend, you are going to see that it's also going to appear in your backend. So if we want to um, say, if say we don't want to have, um, add a new post, or from the front end we can just do this from the admin page and you can see the rich text, rich text editor sorry has been added to the admin page so that's all for today guys thank you for watching my video if you found this helpful please 
like share and subscribe and stay tuned for more